Oh boy, Xbox is serious. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope news but before we get started give the video a big thumbs up we are doing a playstation 5 console giveaway make sure you're subscribed here on youtube and following me on twitter for the giveaway it's gonna be lit all right we have some pretty big news Shout out to um, at days 473 on Twitter. he would be hooking me up with some news items. But this is fresh off of Reddit. An Xbox streaming box. And you should see it's like a cool, sleek, just white, pretty much a white rectangle, cubed. But check out the details. Now, and Phil Spencer already talked about this, but it seems like it's about to be a reality. Design is from early 2021, 2021, 2021, looks slightly different now. Was supposed to be out by the end of 2021, unlikely with global supply shortages. So it's supposed to come out, bro, that would have been a cool little holiday surprise, a perfect stocking stuffer where you can play Game Pass games um, anywhere. We're going to talk about it. All right. <laughs> It's a little thicker and wider than a deck of playing cards. Plug into TV to stream from home console or play from xCloud. All right. Just like Series X and Series S, the button by the USB is also an IR receiver. An Xbox controller can be paired with it. Wireless keyboard and mouse support planned as well. Has Wi-Fi, but can also be hardwired. Makes sense. Will support party chat. We'll also be able to install compatible apps like HBO, Disney Plus, etc. Microsoft wants Xbox to be, to be available on every TV you have. First, let's talk about this. Then there's another crazy um, um, news item. It's another Xbox news item too. Bro, right now, I don't feel justified to spend $500 for Xbox Series X. Just a lack of games. I hear Halo Infinite is um, is um, a solid game. The gameplay is solid. But I always knew Halo's gameplay was going to be solid. I'm not a big Halo fan, but that's good to know. But I would pay 50 bucks, No more than $50. This better not cost. This better be a $49.99 plug and play device. For 50 bucks, a small little rectangle Xbox that I can hardwire and stream um, games from Game Pass or xCloud, I would buy that. So it looks like it's going to happen. And <coughs> Phil Spencer already said that in an interview months back that he wants to have a small plug and play Xbox device where it'll be widespread. This is lit, this is lit, this is lit. So an Xbox streaming box um, is slated to be coming out. Uh, we're supposed to be coming out this year. It's still not 100%, but they're saying because of the global um, chip shortages, it might not make the 2021 planned release date. And the next news item, um, Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass adds basic Android TV and Google TV support with a home screen icon. Forget even a box. Xbox is trying to make it as easy as possible to play their games. Rolling out right now as I speak on Android TV, Google TV, Xbox Game Pass. You know how on your smart TV you have different icons you can press, Disney Plus, Netflix, yada, yada, yada. Now um, Game Pass icons are starting to pop up where you can just play your Xbox games straight from your smart TV. TV. I just got this um, $1,000 Sony Bravia 2021 TV. 
it's a PlayStation TV. So I don't know if Sony's going to be about that life. Not Xbox Game Pass to be on their TV. But it's a smart TV, and I could add apps to it. So maybe I could just add it right there and don't even need to buy the box. The only thing I would do that for, because there's really no Xbox games I want to play right now. So I don't even know if I'll do it. But it's cool, and I thought it was cool, so I said, let me talk about it. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about um, this news item, Xbox streaming box? wonder what they're going to call it. Xbox has crazy names for their consoles and systems. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.